Well, 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 meow. And hello there. To start this bad boy off, I wanted to bring out the actual claw plans so I would have a life-size piece to compare mine to. You guys may well know already, these claws were made, at least in the movie, by the items and materials in Selena Kyle's sewing kit. So they were based out of what she already had on hand, literally and figuratively. So mine is not the exact same to hers, but keeping with the theme of using what you have, I did just that which is various nails, bolts, screws, and wires, oh, and thimbles, as a base. At first, my plan was to actually solder these items together, but I found out after what was many hours of trying and getting too frustrated to deal with it, that for whatever reason, my metals would not stick together. Still trying to figure that out, not dealing with it. <laughs> too much negativity around it. So I ended up using my tried and true E6000, which was a less quick drying option, still holding and they look absolutely beautiful and very close to the original. I did however use a freaking torch, yes a torch, <laughs> to heat up the screws and the nails to the point where they would be pliable. a mix of tools to bend them being sure that I came nowhere closer to touching the hot metal. I did however try to bend it at first without using the torch which ended up not so great. Blood warning in 3, 2, 1. I actually almost passed out during this. With the majority of these, I was able to put them together in one go, but seeing as how E6000 needs 24 hours or so to fully sit down, some took me two days if they had multiple heavier pieces resting on other multiple heavy pieces. If you count these, I somehow got footage of eight or some were too close in resemblance to tell them apart, but I think you can pretty much grasp the concept of putting these together. I won't go through each and every one because Honestly, it would get far too confusing to match these up and it, it the words would just get intertwined to get intertwined together. Just trying to grasp <laughs> putting those together was hard enough. I suppose that's a uh, round two then.
by some miracle you do decide to follow through making these making your own cat-like claws. Be aware I do not condone using a torch in or outside without proper safety precautions and an adult present, even if you are over the age. I would just definitely recommend having a second person there just in case something happens. Also, if you're not a professional, <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. And I definitely do not suggest trying to bend nails or other pieces of metal prior to heating it as you will more than likely end up looking like you own multiple unhappy cats, which would be fitting for this costume, but again, not recommended. Please, please keep your fingies safe. <laughs> Once these are all put together and cured, I attach them to the Catwoman gloves that go with the costume I got from me in costume store. I believe it was Ruby's. I got mine online on Amazon. Attaching them with even more E6000. Yes, these look incredibly cool, but I will say that they are very unrealistic to actually wear more than just a costume for like a cosplay or something, as I was unable to pick up pretty much anything with them. It would require a lot of practice, like those people that have like really, really long nails, whether they're natural or unnatural, kudos to you. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> And they are also made of very pointy and sharp objects, so again, be careful, be safe, my friends, my spooky little friends. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Happy Halloween, guys. Woohoo!